Thank you for joining us for our first show of a four-part presentation from artist Bob Cummings. In the next four weeks, he hopes to teach you how to transform your artwork to a new level. Welcome back to Scenic Oil Painting. The focus of what I am especially trying to get across is the value of tonal values, kind of play on words there, but tonal values, putting down a foundation of tonal values in my estimation is one of the most important foundations for building a successful painting. I have um, also put up these two finished paintings and also you can see that I am following the very same pattern that I did with the, the painting above here. Simply put, we have four tonal values that are the, the foundation of this painting. Now I want to make it clear because I'm showing you this on the side that when I paint these tonal values, I'm actually painting on my canvas that I'm going to be finishing out. But I put this on the side to be able to uh, move it around and to um, put it on top of my original painting to better explain, hopefully better explain, how important these values are. Again, <clears throat> setting down the tonal value is absolutely important. Just like we did up on this painting, um, I'm going to again go over this. The sky will be the most light of the tonal values. Any of these tonal values would make a nice sky. Any of these tonal, middle tonal values will make a nice background. And I paint them in just like this. I paint this in so it's just a flat block and we are guided in by the, by the, uh, by, by the sketch that we have. Um, so we know where to stop and so, and, 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 uh, and where our guidelines are. Next, I will take the deep tonal values. Our upright trees are always the deep, deepest and richest tonal values. Again, I am not putting any detail as you see in the finished painting. At this point, all I want to do is make sure that we are putting in the tonal value in the basic area that it's supposed to be. So we'll take and paint this in. I'd use a smaller brush for these tips of the trees. But what we're doing here, again, is overlapping. And then we would put in the foreground. That's always a lighter value, probably a value right after the sky. So that value would run in this area somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can even explain this a little better by taking my tonal values and putting them on top. My first tonal value is the sky and that is the lightest again. The next tonal value would be just a, a gray, a flat gray, um, gray blue indicating the foothills and the hills in the back and the trees in the background. You see how that works? My next tonal value will be the trees. Maybe I'll just remove this here. And now you can see, of course you wouldn't paint all the way down here because you would need to do that. but. I am showing you that, that the deep tonal values, how they line up with, with um, our upright trees, the dark um, upright value, the dark upright trees with the, the dark value. So it's kind of how this all is put together like that. Once you have the dark values for the tree, then you would put in a lighter foreground value. When we have these in place, 
this, this canvas would look very much like this right here, this display. It would only be after I do this that I go into the modeling, as I talked about earlier. And then I come back <clears throat> and I start wiping maybe some of these background tree, uh, hills and trees to give them a little different value within the value. We have to always remember in scenic oil painting that as we start from the back and, and start uh, bringing our objects closer, that the color, color is, is absolutely disappears after a distance. So it just becomes a value. But as we become uh, closer to the object, we start picking up a couple of things. We start picking up texture and color. And most of the time, um, our object becomes much larger because it's closer to us. Notice in these sets of trees here, what hap happens. Um, we are, are uh, at a, quite a distance here. There isn't a lot of, uh, of texture or color, but you can see it, it's, it's, it's there. Compare that with these closer trees. We're getting more color and more texture. And then our final tree here has a lot of depth and color and texture. And we have to remember that to have a successful painting. And this here is the very same basic um, formula. And I'll come back and explain just a few other things as um, we wanna look at something on this painting here and this tonal value. But uh, right now, we'll close down. And um, I hope that this is an encouragement to you again. I hope that you're seeing the importance of tonal values. So thank you so much for being here, and um, we'll catch you later. Thank you.